Do you think having a complex password and two factor authentication is going to secure your account? Sadly no. Despite having both, my YouTube channel was compromised. Thanks to YouTube technical team, I got it back in just 2 days, but even then it was a hassle. Fortunately, there's a way to keep your account 100% safe. In this video, I will show you how. Let's begin. You will need something called a security key. I have got two here. One is from Fatian and the other one is from Ubico. There are security keys from many other brands, but I have chosen these because Google has recommended these. Let's unbox the keys. Ubico security key is just like a USB stick. You will plug this into USB port of your computer. After you enter your password, you will be asked to tap the key with your finger for authentication. Fatian security key looks like a car key which runs on inbuilt lithium ion battery. It supports USB just like the other one, but it also has Bluetooth and NFC to authenticate mobile devices. You will get USB type B cable in the box which will charge the inbuilt battery when you plug into your computer. Now let's enroll these security keys in our Google account. Insert both the keys to USB ports of your computer. Log into Google account. Search for Google Advanced Security. Click on Get Started and then Enroll. Now click on Register Security Keys. Here you need to remember it is not compulsory to have two keys. You can have just one Fatian key which will authenticate both your computers and mobile devices. Just in case if you lose it, Backup key comes in handy. Click on Add Main Key. Click on Next. You will get a prompt. Say OK. Now click the button on the security key and it gets registered. Give a name to it for you to remember. Now click on Backup Key. Follow the same steps. This time tap on the USB key. Again give a name. Click on next. Then click on enroll to finish the setup. Now you will be logged off from all the devices. When I try to log in, I will be asked to tap on a key. I can tap on any of these two keys to log in. If you are on a personal computer which is at home, you can check this box to say don't ask me again for the key on this computer. But on mobile devices which can be stolen or lost, don't do this. Now let me show you how Bluetooth key works on mobile devices. Click this button to turn the key on. Then press and hold the same button to go to Bluetooth mode. Now on your device, turn on Bluetooth and look for the key. Click on the device to pair it. You will be asked to enter the pin which is mentioned on the back of the key. Now you can log in and click the key to authenticate. If you have trouble with Bluetooth on phones, you can use OTG cables and connect the keys directly. Now you know how to configure security keys and how to use them. You can think of security key as a physical key to your online account. The hacker might have the answer to my security question, my password and he can also generate OTP for my two-factor authentication. But then, he will also need to steal these physical keys from me. Good luck with that Mr. Hacker. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are not. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will be happy to answer them. I will see you on the next one. Until next time, take care.